हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द स्ट्रगलिंग स्टोरी ऑफ अबुल पाकिर जैनुलाबुद्दीन अब्दुल कलाम यस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम ही वॉज द फॉर्मर प्रेसिडेंट एंड द मिसाइल मैन ऑफ इंडिया His life is such an admiring story that shows that circumstances are not a barrier in the road to success but can be broken with a firm determination and passion for achieving the aim. He is the man that no word could be sufficient to describe him. He was born on 15th October 1931 in a poor but a humble family. His family was not a quite well in terms of financial conditions but though were having a big hurt he was brought up with his seven siblings and they had to face a lot of pressure my dear his father was a fisherman although his father was uneducated he always motivated kalam to study further and here started his journey of roughs and toughs which he never took as a barrier to his path but his devotion followed it he used to wake up at 4 early in the morning and go for his mathematics classes and that time there was no electricity in his town so he used to study in kerosene lamps which could lit for a span of 2 hours that is between 7 to 9 pm but since he was a passionate student he used to study up to 11 pm and for this his mother used to save some kerosene oil now since his financial condition were not well he started to support his father at a very young age of 8 and as his math classes were over he along with his cousin samshuddin started distributing newspaper all around the town and to manage the time is the most difficult task and what a great this man used to have that he used to study maths first for about 1 hour and then move to the station between rameshwaram and dhanushkodi to collect the newspaper and then run to distribute them across the town my dear it's a very difficult very difficult task after a lot of struggle he got a admission in madras institute of technology as aeronautical engineer now when he was in final year of aeronautical engineering this final year it proved to be a transition year and had a greater impact on his later life after he finished his course work he was provided with an assignment to design a low level attack aircraft along with four other colleagues and kalam took the responsibility of drawing the aeronautical design but one day but one day my dear the design teacher professor shrinivasan the director of madras institute of technology reviewed his progress and declared it is a low quality and a disappointing professor shrinivasan then gave only 3 days to complete his project and kalam was completely blown away as if he couldn't meet the deadline of project his scholarship his scholarship would stop and he could not afford it and do provide himself that he has the caliber to put down the work in a short span of time with his firm determination and on the third day when shrinivasan came to check down his work he was astonished and said that i never expected you to perform so well and after this he joined hindustan aeronautical as a trainee in bangalore yes as a trainee in bangalore again a difficult phase come where he had to face failure as he wanted to join air force and stood ninth among 25 students but there were only eight positions and he was disappointed and this bring a new path for him he opted for a second option and joined department of defense production at ministry of defense as a senior scientific assistant and then he did several projects the former defense minister 
find a keen interest in it and send him a call for an interview at Indian National Committee for Space Research. An interview was taken by Mr. Menon and Dr. Sarabhai and was selected after which he worked at NASA then went to Godad Space Flight Center at Greenbelt, Maryland. And during all this, he was under the mentorship of Dr. Sarabhai. And as a Kalam was under the eye of Dr. Sarabhai and nurture under his wing, he in, uh, trusted Kalam and his team and decided to make a rocket satellite launch vehicle and satellites and so his life goes on very tough path between 1963 to 1980. Then he joined ISRO and hold many positions over the year and become the project director of the SLV-3, SLV-3 project. On 10th August 1979, it was the most disappointing day for Dr. Kalam as it was the first launch of SLV-3 which has four stages in which the first was successful but the second one failed and so the launch failed and Kalam took the responsibility of failure and faced a lot of criticism but as he never stopped and keep going India launched its first ever satellite into the orbit successfully named Rohini on 18th July 1980 and what a great story this man leave becoming the missile man of India. And when the rule of K.R. Narayanan's presidency came to an end, country needs a inspirational leader. And Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam become the president of people and put on his best to serve the country. It is evident from his life that the struggles are not there to count but to come over them and achieve what to want and he completely proved what uh, he completely proved that willpower hard work and determination can take you anywhere